This week on the show, photographer Gary Abbott. I'm photographer Brian Fisher. And I'm model Roxanne Kelly. And this is Model Photography Showcase. Back in time to a classic episode of Model Photography Showcase, we have a friend of the show, Gary Abbott. Been on a few times. He runs a number of uh, meetup groups for models and photographers in the L.A. Basin. And um, well, tremendously fun guy doing fun stuff. Enjoy the interview. Hi, Brian. How are you doing this week? I'm good. How are you doing, Roxanne? Really great. Just finished up some shoots and looking forward to next week. Excellent. Uh, we have a photographer this time. Oh, that's good. That's yeah, good news. I mean, because I almost, I, I, we almost forgot how to interview a photographer. Uh, I know. Body painters. <laughs> and artists and crazy people. A but, little bit. <laughs> uh, we're down to the normally photography crazy folks. Oh, good. So this week, it is Gary Abick, famous for select models. Hi, Gary. How are you doing, Gary? Hi. How are you guys doing this evening? Great. Great. It's great to have you on the podcast. Tell us a little about select models and how that came about. Well, we started back in 1992, and actually the name was chosen by a model that I was um, working with at the time. Her name was Heather McBroom, and we went to a photo shoot. It was a, one of those photo day group shoots, mm -hmm. and um, we had some fun times, but uh, Heather came back and said, you know, this sounds like something me and you should put together, um, just something like photographers get to select their models. We should name it like Select Models, and I go... That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> nice. So um, we held our first photo shoot in 1992 at a studio in Murrieta, California. And we had about 12 models and about 20 photographers. And um, it was a lot of fun. It was about six hours long. Uh, we continued to have more and more photo shoots. Uh, our biggest one we had was... In 1996, we had 91 models and 311 photographers. Oh, wow. my goodness. Okay, you've got me beat. That was that was huge. It was at wow. a place called the Humphreys Mansion. And um, that um, we started kind of toning down the photo shoots after that because I was just out of control, too big. Uh, something that I couldn't I couldn't really organize effectively with that huge of a crowd. I got my events up to about 250 people and it was like herding cats. So I, I tried <laughs> to my rule of thumb is if I can keep it about 100 people. That's still too much, but it's OK. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, we uh, continue to have more and more group shoots, and um, we um, I opened up a studio, and I've been renting it out and to photographers who want to use it weekly, and I've held some group shoots here, but I continue to hold more and more group shoots out on locations. And um, the October 13th cruise boat photo shoot that we're doing this year is going to be our fourth cruise boat photo shoot. Uh, we had one last year on September 2nd that had 60 models and photographers that was huge for a for a cruise boat shoot mm -hmm. yeah, yeah i was telling my wife i said i said dear i can just buy roxanne a cruise boat ticket and myself and i could go for this uh this trip and she said she said no <laughs> i don't know why well, i can't imagine why <laughs> i'm a good husband i i buy her stuff shouldn't i get to take roxanne on a cruise uh-huh <laughs> She said something well, about her going off with Roxanne's husband to an exotic location. I think I understand what she meant. Okay. On the other hand, I, I <laughs> probably uh, probably okay with Roxanne's husband, to be honest. But yeah, I think I, I would trust him to go with her. I trust him too. <laughs> but uh, the cruise boat thing is an excellent idea. Tell us a little about how you sort of decided to how you how the form came to be the B Y O M. Okay. Well, about. Four years ago, we did our first one and it was really successful. We had about, we had 10 models and uh, nine photographers. It's because we had one photographer that invited two models. Nice. But when, once we get on the cruise boat, it's not necessarily like the model has to room up with a photographer. We all meet at 730 at the buffet table and we kind of like pass motel room and well, our cruise boat rooms around. And the models get to room with the models, the photographers get to room with the photographers, and everybody gets to pretty much room with whoever they want to. So you're not necessarily stuck with a photographer or a model in a specific room. We That's can a big relief to models everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, actually to photographers too, believe it or not. So, or to uh, their wives. Oh, that yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. 
So it works out pretty good that way. Um, the one that we had last year was 60 models and photographers. That one had, was a major logistics nightmare because we had so many people that wanted to swap rooms. And um, it's, um, we got it all done in a couple hours and we kept pretty much everybody happy, but it was like, that was just way too many people to organize yeah, that, for one. It sounds like you've reached that limit where you're going to have to go 50, 50 is yeah. it. Yeah. We, so far, we only have seven models and seven photographers this year, which I'm so glad. It's, you know, the, the group is a much smaller, and much more easy to, to manage and organize. Where do you go? We're going to be going to Cabo San Lucas and Puerto Vallarta. Fun. I've oh, gone to that cruise. I've if, done that cruise. If you yeah, must. That's a, blast. that's a blast. It is fun. And, um, we're, we're shooting on the beach in Cabo San Lucas, uh, a place called uh, Divorce Beach. It has huge waves. That's the models funny. have a tendency to sometimes get knocked around a little bit. So do the photographers if they're not careful. And uh, we're also going to a beach called Conscious Chinas Beach in Puerto Vallarta. It's one of the most beautiful beaches in the world. It has 80-degree ocean water, and it has um, a combination of sand and rock formations. This is the third time we've been at this beach. There's been famous movies filmed there, uh, The Night of the Iguana. Uh, several really impressive um, uh, movies with beaches in the backgrounds uh, have been filmed at Conscious Chinas, uh, which is just beautiful. south of Puerto Vallarta uh, in Mexico. Uh, really cool. beautiful beach. There's many pictures on my um, Model Mayhem portfolio page of that beach and some of the cruise boat photo shoot locations we've gone to. It's a major party cruise boat photo shoot because there's four nightclubs on the boat. There's... Um, there's photo shoots every day and parties every night and uh, we the photo shoots take place in the afternoon and evening so you can sleep in if you do a little bit too much partying during the day or you know during the night and um then we uh just hit some terrific beaches while we're off the ship and um everybody has a really fun time i want to go I can't imagine looking your best after drinking so much. You don't care. <laughs> the photographers should. They're paying for the models yeah. to be on this cruise ship. If they, and... if they enjoy themselves enough, they don't care either. I guess. Of course, when they sober up back home and look at their, their cards, they're going to be like, wow, that was terrible. I'm Man. going back next year. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's well, funny. That is a whole lot of fun. And then, of course, you're doing uh, photography yourself, no, not just event hosting. Yeah, pretty much. I have a, the studio that I have, I, um, I do quite a few shoots here. Plus I rent the studio out to a lot of other photographers that are local. I guess I'm the only one in the Inland Empire where I live at that has a white cove. So I rent it out to a lot of other photographers. I have two other studio rooms and, um, uh, it's pretty busy. It keeps me, keeps me off the streets. <laughs> in my long term plan, I hope to one day have both a white cove and then a wet studio where you can, you know, fully immerse water, whatever you want to do, low voltage, the whole works. But uh, it's okay. in the long term plan. So I'm going to remind everybody who is listening to the podcast on the enhanced feeds that they need to click the little icon in the upper menu bar of iTunes. Uh, by holding down control click on the Mac or command click on the PC or vice versa because I'm dyslexic and they'll be able to see the slideshow and we are going to move on to our first image which is this little beauty from the cruise ship. Stunning. I love that her lipstick matches the ship. Of course it does. <laughs> and I thought it was a plane at first that that was such an odd uh, setup for a yeah. plane. <laughs> Yeah, I, I've looked at that boat and thought, why? Why is it shaped like that? And I think it's purely shaped like that so that you'll look at it and go, why is it shaped like that? Yeah, it's got to be. <laughs> hey, there's no reason. Even with the vent in the image, I think that it's it's stunning. That doesn't even take your eyes or your focus away from her face and the way her dress is moving. Yeah. I love the motion in this picture. Even if it's not, I mean, it seems like it's motion. Even if it's her pulling it, which it looks like it might be. It still looks like the ship Yeah, it looks like the moving. ship is cruising. So uh, the, the question I have is, was she supposed to be scaling the side of the chimney or whatever you call that thing? <laughs> well, actually, you're on the upper deck of the Carnival Paradise cruise ship. Okay. And that tail that you see above her is actually the logo that Carnival uses on all their cruise ships. Mm. Yeah, so if you're familiar with their cruise lines, you'll see that, that red, white, and blue tail section on every one of their ships. And... Um, what we did is we were walking up there and Laura says, you know, I could get up on that rail and we could probably get some good pictures. 
Uh, her name is Laura Shodire. Yeah, she's also a, a popular model in Model Mayhem. And so I said, if you can get up there, I'll, I mean, I'll find some great ways to take pictures. So I used my 10 to 24 Nikon zoom. It's a wide angle zoom. Nice. And um, I pretty much, the wind was blowing crazy up there. It was like a 35 to 40 mile an hour um, wind and her dress and her hair was blowing everywhere. And it was just pretty much impossible to get anything close to um, an unblown picture up there. So she scaled up the side of that little rail and I started shooting some pictures as she was hanging on for dear life. And she only was up there for about two or three minutes. And I shot off about maybe uh, 25 to 30 pictures. This one right here, I think, was probably the best out of the group. And uh, she got down from that area there. And we just kept on shooting at other locations on the boat. But then when we got back and we looked at this one, we said, hey, you know, this is. That's the this one. Was, yeah. Hey, sometimes definitely. you have to get dangerous to get the yeah. right shot. Well, you True. know, in, when you're shooting something like this uh, with such a wide angle lens, you know, the legs got that art, you got that artificially long legs, but you managed to not get the artificially fat leg effect, which can go horribly wrong. Yes. And it works, but you know, that is a delicate balance. This all just was just right. And it could have been just wrong. <laughs> I really like these kind of images because it makes, makes me think of other models that are adventurous. Yeah, that's one of the most adventurous models you're ever going to run into. That girl does amazing stuff. She jumps off of cliffs. She um, she does work with fire and sparks. She does a lot of things where she jumps into seaweed, um, uh, crabs and fleas and stuff all over her. If you look at her portfolio on Model Mayhem, you're going to see some crazy stuff that girl does. This we'll is just get that link of- over in the show notes. I hope yeah. that I'm I'm close to being that adventurous <laughs> so roxanne am i packing my wide angle zoom next time we go out yes oh all right Let's do it. if we must we have to all right this is just beautiful sensual yes i really i really love her eyes that's tara and that's in a, a um actually it's on a location shoot in a hotel room and i was using a um a large softbox and i was crawling t- towards the corner of the bed and she was just rolling around and I said, Hey, just look up over this way. And, um, uh, just, there was just one of about 20 pictures I shot of her, um, at that hotel room photo shoot. How it was cool. actually hosted by another model out in Temecula. Oh. And, uh, I went out to her shoot and shot some of these, uh, along with Tara and the other model. Her name was Charlie Christine. Oh yes. We know Charlie. So yeah. a matter of fact, we're going to try and have her as a guest here before too long. How close in was that softbox? Actually, it was really, really large box, and it was pretty close to her face, as you can tell. Um, it's, it's, I shot this, believe it or not, um, available light, so I didn't actually use the strobe. Um, so it's just I, the modeling I, light? Yeah, just the modeling light, but it was a pretty bright softbox. I shot it probably around uh, 3,200 ISO with my D700 Nikon. Very and nice. The strobe didn't even go off. It's just the modeling light. Mm-hmm. I really, really like her stomach. She has the perfect lines. She does. And she is a perfect example that you don't have to have a washboard to be awesomely sexy, beautifully yes. shaped. I agree. She's, she has a little bit extra at the bottom, just like I do. And I just, I actually really... As you should. I really like it on her. I think it looks really nice. <laughs> That's at Conscious Gina's Beach in Puerto Vallarta. Just like you were talking about. That yeah. seals it. We have to go. Yes. I don't think we have a choice. I don't think so either. I think we would be irresponsible if we didn't go to this beach. <laughs> He would love it. We are going there in October, too. We're going to be back there at that place. Nice. It's amazing. There's so many beautiful areas just around where she shot out there that is just ideal for pictures. There's uh, probably another 20 pictures on my Model Mayhem portfolio of this beach, and you can't get the girls out of the water there. It's 80-degree ocean water. Oh. It's so warm. When you get out, it's almost like you get cold if you get out. Oh, yeah. I would. I can imagine that. Yeah, see, here, when I'm sh- when I'm doing a beach shoot, I have to be very careful not to get the girls in the water right up until the end when I'm okay with abusing them. I mean. Because we can really only handle so much of the cold water. That's true. And you just look miserable and your lips get blue. Now, I have to say there are exceptions to the rule. We have a local model here uh, named uh, Yumi Zook. And you can put her in the ocean for hours, and I think she must be a reptile because it doesn't (laughs) seem to bother her a bit. It's the strangest thing, but she's awesome. What kind of um, after post-processing did you do to this image? 
Well, actually, the light that you see used there is that Vivitar 285 on a tripod that was activated oh. with a pocket lizard. Oh. You should make that your pick. Yeah, yeah. That should be Wait, your gadget. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my gadget. So that's that's uh, so you didn't do a softbox or anything. It's just kind of a bare strobe. That's it. It's a bare strobe, right, yes. uh, on a tripod that was activated by a pocket wizard about thirty feet away from her on a rock. Beautiful. Nicely done. Beautiful lighting. I had the shadows just really uh, hug her body in just the right way. Yeah, it. it you're you're leaving enough shadow to show shape, but you're canceling enough to keep detail. It's nicely mm -hmm. done. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you guys will love that beach. That's just amazing. This next image is really interesting. The the way you did white on white. And yeah. obviously her hair stands out. That's a lot of hair. It is. Yeah. That's Deborah Valentine. Actually, Deborah Valentine used to hold photo shoots a long time ago down in San Diego. It was called the Valentine Girls Photo Shoots. And um, I actually visited her down in San Diego and I brought uh, some studio lights, a white sheet. And we actually, believe it or not, we shot this picture inside her laundry room. <laughs> wow, that's really yeah. crazy. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> I really like um I like that it's implied and that she is very curvy. She is very curvy and yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. No, in a good way. It's a very good curvy. Some well, girls she's only are about too five curvy. foot four. <laughs> wow. She's about five foot four and she um um she's probably well I'm not gonna say her age, but she's in her forties and she looks great for her age, but if you go to her model mayhem page, Deborah Valentine uh, she's got an artist that rendered a really cool uh, painting of this particular picture. And he added some cool stuff in the background and made her look really futuristic. Very nice. Very cool. You'll see that picture on her Model Mayhem page. This one just cracks me up. Yeah. It looks like she's laughing at a joke and almost flirtatious. Well, you know what she's doing? She's looking at a um, a, a hot air balloon flying overhead because nice. she's in a jacuzzi at uh in encinitas california uh and we're, we're we had a group shoot there with about 15 models and about 40 photographers and um that's her name is stephanie and she goes by stun gun stephanie and uh, she's a popular model down in the san diego region i nice. do love her expression yeah the expression's awesome i you know it i i didn't pick this image necessarily for the background or anything it's just that it's got this bang and uh I'd hire her to go do something just because you can see that she's expressive. And yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah. You can, this is not a boring person. Not a oh, chance. not even. This, that, girl's, that girl is chock full of some great personality. And her yeah. hair is wet, and I just love that it looks so perfect. Yeah, it even looks it's absolutely wet. perfect wet. Yes, and some girls can't pull that off. That's true. That's true. All right. I, once again, kind of chubby feeling because this girl has got the stomach. Yes, she does. And the eyes. Oh, man. Yeah. Eyes do it for me, but she has this intense... You want to take this girl out, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> if I was a true lesbian, I would consider asking this girl out. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I would think you were really on target. Be... Well, thank you. I typically go for a little bit lighter hair, so <laughs> that is my uh, my forte. <laughs> Excellent. I see. What What's the... Uh, what does the sign say behind her? I said... Um, uh, private uh, not private notice or private uh, location actually where we're shooting at is we're down in laguna uh there's a cove that's uh at the south end of eagle rock and we're shooting at that beach location uh and laura lee which is the model here she was only here for one week uh from arizona and new mexico and so we took this picture of her in a group shoot with about four other models and about eight photographers while we we're in Laguna Beach. We do these shoots called weekday beach mini shoots every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And she was invited to one of our Wednesday photo shoots. And um, she had a great time. We did some great pictures. All the girls get free dinner after the photo shoots at um, a place called Ruby's Diner. And, um, and that was it. just a super fun shoot. Well, she, yes, needs she, she needs dinner. She needs dinner. You know, she is firstly... She is obviously very, very fit, but not to the point of being unpleasant. I mean, yes, I would feel inferior and uncomfortable around her, but she doesn't look like she's a freak of nature. She's not manly or anything with mm -hmm. muscle, but she almost has like that gymnasty kind of fitness going. It's true. Yeah. And true. Then, she, she didn't bring a lot of uh, outfits to this shoot, and I brought a bag full of stuff for all the studio clothes. and. Uh, I ended up giving her that white wife beater uh, T-shirt and those blue uh, booty shorts. 
because the booty shorts and the wife beater outfit was probably cost me about six bucks at a place called American Body Basics. They have like great outfits for super rock bottom prices. Nice. So I go down there and load up on outfits all the time for the studio. And I end up giving the clothes away because I have a hard time saying, well, like, give me the clothes back. And when you only spend five or six bucks for them, hey, just let the girls have it. You know, I'm the heck? same way with bikinis. I'm not washing, washing that thing. It's out the door. The model yeah. takes it. Yeah. Uh, she's got a great face. She's got just scare, just killer eyes. Yeah. Um, we need to hunt her down and get her over to one of my events. Yeah, she is incredible. I'd love to work with her. Yeah, just amazing. I mean, it says something about your, your photography ability if you could capture that. But either way, mm-hmm. she's gorgeous. <laughs> well, and I also love the light. I presume that's either overcast or fog or something. Yeah, it was in the deep shade area. There was a large tree that covered the... Um, the the wall structure there it really worked worked nicely this one's interesting the jean with jeans i think i was around this shoot (laughs) this looks familiar (laughs) with the classic car and i just i like her sunglasses and her bleach blonde hair (laughs) this is at uh, pismo isn't it that's right it's at the racetrack out there and um that's angelina uh, she, I actually brought her to this shoot and with, with one other model and we had a great time. Uh, and Brian, kudos to you for putting on a great shoot, buddy. Uh, there was a lot of fabulous models, including your beautiful host right there. Yeah, it was and, a, it was yeah. a good time this year. And Angelina was definitely one of the stars. She has this sort of, uh, almost rock glamoury kind of thing going. You could see her in a music video. You know what I mean? I I agree. Yeah. I don't remember seeing her. Oh, that you were just working the other side of the the thing. It was a big event. Okay, it was a big event. Although I thought I saw most of the models. Yeah, but... for the benefit of the listeners, this year's Portfolio Jam event, we took over the entire Santa Maria Speedway and turned it into our own private photo shoot with uh, like two dozen classic cars. It was awesome, and we fed everyone, which seemed to be very popular. One of my favorite photos from this shoot was with this orange car, I think. Yes, yes, with it was. my black body suit, actually with Queenie's black body yes, suit. Yes, on the hood. Yes, on the hood. I remember it well. I still don't know who took that photo. I thought that was me. No. Was it? Well, no, actually, the one I took one very much, much like the one you're talking about. I don't know if I've seen that one then. It's talking about amazing hair. Oh, that's Tara. Yep, she's got fantastic hair. She curled it and sprayed it and just got out of control with it. And she is sitting on the makeup chair with my makeup lights wrapped around her in my back studio. Perfect. Oh, what a neat lighting. I like her hair like that. It's it's crazy and fun, and it kind of brings the focus right into where it should be. Mm-hmm. I could see you doing this, Roxanne. I could possibly. We need to get you a nice hair person to work that stuff over. And I know. I have such long hair. <laughs> you got to pay extra when you hire a hair artist for Roxanne because it goes so on much, and on. So much hair. It's Although okay. it's we so fine. It. So. We appreciate it. <laughs> no, this beautiful image, the lighting is great using the, the multiple points instead of a softbox. It kind of... If you look at the glisten on the hair, that's how you do that. It's not with soft, lots of little lights, not one big one. Makes sense. And um, it really worked nicely. I like that the one curl in front of her face is in motion. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. And, and you can still see her eyes just You can fine. still see her eyes. That was a luck of the moment. Yeah, True. She's tossing it she's around. just wiggling around up there in the chair, and that curl just happened to pop down at the right time. That's perfect. Yeah. So was uh, was this like just a one-on-one shoot or part of one of your group shoots? Yeah, or? yeah, it was a one-on-one shoot. Um, actually, those little spots of lights that you see are a whole bank of like the little makeup lights that yeah. are next to the mirror, mm-hmm. and um, it works out great because it's not it's not too harsh and it like fills like a whole side of. It's similar to like a strip box because mm-hmm. it's directional light coming that's like in a bank of, uh, of lights. It works. It's it's amazing light. Nice. But you still get those little specular highlights on the hair that looks so good. That's it. But you just sure. wouldn't get with a softbox. Yep. Very cool. Now. This one is in motion. This one's in motion. Wow. I that love had, it. That had to be refreshing. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I say whenever I get 81 cold. 81 degree water down there in Conscious Tina's Beach, part of Iarta again. Wow. And my, my camera actually took a splash hit on this picture because I'm rolling around in the water with her. And that's Andriana, 
who went on the cruise boat photo shoot last year, along with 28 other models. She's gorgeous. She is just absolutely beautiful. Mm-hmm. Great Fabulous model, lips. great location, and I love her earrings. I love the lips. Yeah, that too. They're amazing. I don't know. This this whole thing is well-rounded. I can't pick out my favorite aspect, and that's difficult for me. Typically, yeah. I'm like, this is what I like about this. And I think this whole thing is that as as it comes together is just a great image. The It is tough on an image like this because you've got such powerful light in the sky and the water. You know, you, you, you'd almost wish for maybe a little later in the day, but then it's all reflected. It looks like it's all reflected light. It's not artificial. What it is? Popped. The sun is bouncing off the white water that's in front of her face, and it's filling up. The, it's filling up a blazing amount of white light right into her face as the white water is in front of her. But you know, the funny thing is, is like if that was taken a couple of seconds earlier, that would her face would have been black because all she had below her was sand. But the minute the water got underneath her face, her face lit up just amazingly. Yeah. So if you're shooting in white water and you're down low at a at a model's level, wait till the white water comes up and acts as a base reflector. Uh, and the sun bounces off that white water and fills into their face. Wow. It's an instantaneously amazing picture. So wait, I'm, I'm confused. This means that she is, she is sitting down or leaning over in the waves and the waves are coming to her. Yes. Yeah. She's actually crawling towards me. Okay. So uh, she's on her knees and her, and her hands crawling towards me. When I saw the image, it looks like she was walking from a distance and came playfully towards you and was like almost going to splash you. And I thought she was standing up. No, she's on all fours. So yeah, she is. This I love that that interesting. That's really cool. Well, and because the light is so momentary, her eyes are nice and open. Her face is relaxed. If that was continuously there, she'd be a wreck. Yeah. True. Like me. <laughs> No, no. I have such a difficult time when it comes to that. I know, you're right. We're always perfect. (laughs) Back to your wide angle by the looks of it. Wow, that's one big boob. That is a lot of boob. I my eyes went to her face. Oh, mine didn't. Mine went right to that middle. I guess it's the perversion inside me. Oh well, at least you're kind of got some identity with yourself. That's important. (laughs) No, I I do like it. And the face is neat. I like that it's popping out over it. Nice. So, car show, I'm guessing? Yeah, it was actually at a our Hot Wheels Super Shoot. We had, uh, two years ago, we had a, an event called the Hot, Hot Wheels Super Shoot where we had a combination of cars and motorcycles at a, um, a custom car dealership in the city of Pomona. And uh, he had over, he had millions of dollars worth of really expensive cars and motorcycles at this location. And uh, we rented the location from him, had about 12 models and 25 photographers there. And the the girls and guys just loved all the props and all the great cars that were there. Nice. I'm sure that he was he was very distressed to have beautiful women all over his vehicles. <laughs> yeah, he he was out he was out supervising just to make sure that everything went okay. But he was he's like this guy's a major flirt, so he was having some fun times with the models. I got to tell you, it can be really stressful for the car owners. And uh, I, I had a car owner who came and brought a 53 Mercury to one of my shoots. And mm. beautiful car, vintage, uh, restored to be a hot rod of 1960. And um, he stood there and literally perspired the whole time <laughs> you know, because there were people all over his car. And I don't blame him at all. That said, I might still take his car back to another shoot. <laughs> Wait, on that, where do you think she got those thigh highs? I just don't know where to shop for them. She brought those. And I'll those have are to some message her. serious. <laughs> yeah. I like those. I would wear those as well. I would wear those to a shoot. They almost look like they're a uh, cover over a regular boot. No, because I can tell. You look at the bottom, the seam goes all the way from the toe, and you can watch ah. it go all the way to the top. There are covers, but they don't look right unless you get the perfect angles, and I don't ah. like that. I see. See, I have now been schooled. I'm picky, <laughs> and I would like to have some black leather. And now that I see it, there's actually a picture of Gary in this picture, too. Yeah, you see me down there in the corner in the, yeah. in the chrome? I see a foot sticking out and a leg. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure <laughs> enough, at the bottom. I got a few of those. <laughs> yeah, that's it's pretty hard to keep yourself out of the picture when you're using a super wide angle like that. No kidding. That and, and the reflections. There's so many of them. Yeah, yeah. lots of chrome. I added a little twinkle on the gas tank. That that little spark that you see mm-hmm. there on the gas tank 
wasn't there, but I added it in, you know, post. Easy enough. Cool. Yeah. You found yourself an airplane. Yeah, we went to the, uh, we've been going to the cable air show in Upland for the last five years. Uh, they're in January every year and there's always vintage aircraft there and air shows. We, what we do is as a group of photographers and models that attend, we pay the, um, owners of the, the airplanes 20, 30, 40, $50 sometimes for tips to go inside and do pictures inside the planes. And, um, we, we get to get into the air show for $7. So it's super cheap. So we nice. round up a lot of great models. We go, we tip the guys for the planes. And it, honestly, you can shoot there for five or six hours. Our average photographer probably only spent about maybe 35 to $40 for the whole shoot. Cool. Yeah. You know, the, uh, the color in the inside of an airplane, that zinc chromate primer that airplanes are painted with mm -hmm. is, it is such a neat, color that for some reason just almost doesn't exist anywhere else and it's so signature and uh, i've seen people that have tried to make fake sets like it's supposed to be the inside of an airplane they always mm -hmm. get the zinc chromate wrong and you can't just buy zinc chromate it's kind of toxic <laughs> <laughs> almost reminds me of steampunk but you didn't quite go that far it's just the inside i just like the industrial look reminds yeah. Me of yeah we turned her into a sexy radio control operator yeah, yeah. at the radio tower or the radio table yeah. Is she wearing a swimsuit? No, it's like a little white, um, little sexy top with a um, some mini shorts. Oh, I just can't see the shorts. Very cool. <laughs> I actually brought the goggles for a prop. So she put the goggles on and then the the headset was actually inside the airplane. So she just threw the headset headset on and the goggles and started playing with the radio dials. And there you have I'm it. I'm sure they appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really neat. I like this image. Very, very oh, cool. Different. I have friends with airplanes. You know, we always have all these ideas. And, you know, if we spent as much time shooting as we did the podcasts, yeah, we'd have a, a huge portfolio. I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> well, but then again, our hours of operation are after dark, typically. That's true. I know where there's a Corsair handy that we can probably use. I think it would be really neat to do one, although I'd have to get the perfect wardrobe. We'll probably have to wait till next year. I see. Because I could, I would I could mount a GoPro on the outside of the plane, and they could take you for a ride and scare the hell out of you. We'll get some great pictures. Oh, yeah. That sounds like so the, much fun. The hurling pictures will be amazing. <laughs> as long as I can jump off at the end, I think it would be fun. Uh, once it lands. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, really? I wanted to go skydiving from the outside of a plane. Wouldn't see. that be interesting? Um, okay. <laughs> Not me. I've been skydiving three times. I come from a long aircraft family tradition of staying in the airplane as long as it's working. Uh, see, I don't know. I just really enjoy that thrill. <laughs> this one is absolutely stunning. I love the color contrast. The red, the black, the white, the reeds. I just think they all work so well together. It is nicely done. And where do you find red jean shorts? I was going to ask where you those. find all the bamboo. Yeah, she brought those and. That, uh, believe it or not, that's at a group shoot in the city of Corona. Hmm. Um, there's a park that's right off one of the neighborhood streets, and we have photo shoots down there. And there's like a really, uh, a kind of like a really jungly kind of location with tons of bamboo around it. And we just kind of uh, stole some of the models from the photo shoot and brought them out into the, the bamboo jungle area and shot them out there. This is total available light with my Nikon D600 at about 3,200 ISO and um, with no strobe. Sweet. And she turned out pretty cool. Yeah, it, it is. It is great. It's got that sort of fresh, crisp, almost like a studio. It's almost like you went crazy in the studio. Yeah. But not. <laughs> it's good. It's very pretty. I uh, like I'm it. I like it. Roxanne, I will dye white, a pair of white jeans, whatever color you want them. If you need red, <laughs> I've got that covered. You know, I, I know guess. I know chemistry. I go to Goodwill and I try to find the most unique outfits and sometimes they turn out great in photo shoots and sometimes they turn out to be eh, not so good. But this turned out really well and I just haven't seen them before. It does indeed happen. So Gary, how can listeners contact you? Well, they can go to my Facebook page. It's my name. It's Gary, G-A-R-Y. Last name is Abic, A-B-I-G-T. They can add me on Facebook. Or if they're a member of Model Mayhem, they can go to Model Mayhem number 2623. That's 2623. And actually on that page, there's a list of some events we have coming up in the near future. We're doing a, on September 25th, we're doing a photo shoot in the streams in the mountains of Mount Baldy 
with 10 models and 20 photographers. And on the October 6th, we're doing a photo shoot at a really awesome house location that has a huge swimming pool, a water slide, and three jacuzzis. That's on October 6th. And, and then, yeah, the haunted house. That's coming up late October. I don't have all the details uh, planned for that yet. But uh, on o October 13th, we're back on the cruise boat for six days. Cabo San Lucas, part of Vallarta. Awesome. I actually met Gary at one of his events some years back, which this photo here would be an example of. And this photo here. And this photo here. And I could keep going with, like, this photo <laughs> here. But uh, needless to say, I shot all day long like crazy. I had a good time, and the pictures are awesome. His events are well-organized, well-populated, premium models. If you're really lucky, Roxanne might be your model if you go to one someday, <laughs> because I have a feeling she'll be there. I hope to be a lot more involved now that my career path has changed. It does seem to uh, be sucking you into the modeling world. It has. I love it. I've been doing three times as many shoots as I used to. That's cool. You guys are both welcome to come down anytime you want. If you check out my page and you see an event there that you've got some time for, you're welcome to come on down and join us anytime. Well, we yes. will be there. And if we find out that we're going to get to go to one of the shoots, we will certainly promote it here on the podcast. So you guys out there in uh, California land can... Come down, meet us, shoot with us, and have a good time. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to contact the show for, oh, I don't know, because you've got a gadget or maybe you have a question or a comment, a little feedback. We love that. You want to tell Roxanne how beautiful her voice is? <laughs> All oh, yeah. of these things <laughs> can be achieved by contacting us at modelphotographyshowcase at gmail.com. Thank you for supporting this show, and thank you for leaving feedback on iTunes. Oh, and yes. The iTunes feedback is important. It really is. It really supports our show, and we appreciate that. Thanks, everyone, for listening, and keep on clicking. <laughs>